Hey what's up guys, how are you all? This is Ram and you are watching Infinity Explorer. Today I am going to unbox this Peltier kit and I will tell you how to assemble this. This can be used to make refrigerators, portable ice makers, water coolers and a lot more. So let's get started. If you are looking for a complete video about Peltier kit unboxing, assembly and testing, you came to the right place. In this video, I will unbox the product, assemble it and we will test it. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel and let's begin. I got this Peltier kit from online and if you are planning to buy it, prefer buying offline so you could save some money. Search on Google for Thermoelectric Peltier Refrigeration Cooling System. It's a pretty long name but you will get the results. Let's open the box. In the box you will get a cotton washer or gasket, a big and a small heat sink for cold side and hot side as well, a safety grill, some screws, a CPU fan, thermal grease, in total you will get 7 items. And the kit I bought didn't include a Peltier module and I bought that one separately. I'll drop the best buy links in the description. If you're interested, check them out. Let's start assembling it. First, take the big heatsink. As the Peltier module gets very hot on one side, we need to use a heatsink. If you look in the product base, they will clearly mention use heatsink on the hotter side. Otherwise, it will damage the Peltier module. Now stick the cotton washer. This will hold the Peltier in position and saves Peltier from pressure supply when attaching and tightening the heat sinks together. This will have a sticker, peel it off and stick it on top. Remember aligning to the holes. We can place the Peltier module but before that we need to apply thermal grease or heat sink compound. What it does is it increases the heat transfer rate. Just a little thing is enough. Then press the Peltier firmly against the heatsink and wobble it a bit so the thermal grease spreads evenly. Remember the cold side of the Peltier is always the surface with letterings on it. So this is the cold side and the opposite one is hot side. Add some thermal grease and wobble it a bit. If I remove it, the compound spreads like this. I removed it to show you but don't remove it once fixed. Otherwise, you have to apply fresh thermal grease again. It may get affected with the dust. Let's screw them. Don't screw too tight on one side. Tight it halfway on one side and tight the other to avoid this. It's ready to work, but let's add a CP fan too to dissipate the heat even faster. This is a 12V 30mm brushless DC motor with fan attached, a CP fan. You don't get nuts with the screws. All we have to do is just screw them tight to the heatsink like this. Attach the safety grill as well. Now it's ready to rock. Let's test it. Before that, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or projects I should do in future. Ok then, I am taking a 3 12V batteries connected in parallel to increase the current so it lasts for longer time as Peltier can draw up to 6 amperes of current. Power monster. Everything is set up. Thermometer to measure the temperature, multimeter to see the voltage drop and stopwatch to measure the time. Red is the positive and black is the negative. Everything is connected, let's start.
First time I tested with the heat sink on on the cold side, the results were different. But later realized that this isn't the perfect way to test it. With the heat sink on top of Peltier, I was able to reach around 3 degrees Celsius. Because the heat sink on top of the cold side dissipates the coolness evenly. So the thermometer captures only a part of it. So, so to test it, I removed the heat sink and tested it again. And the results were amazing. I added few droplets of water to hold the thermometer in place because it freezes the water. It was able to reach minus 8 degrees Celsius with the heat sink removed. And one more flap. The setup is still in open area so I performed it indoor and with a thermocall cup covering the Peltier making it a well insulated room. The results were improved a lot. About minus 12 degrees Celsius. It was constantly hitting minus 11 degrees easily within less time. You can see the difference between lid open versus lid closed in real time. The results can be even better if I made a better insulation chamber and even faster cooling on the hotter side and using a big battery pack. Let's try them as well in the future videos. For now, let's freeze some coal on top and make it into ice. Cool, right? I have made other projects as well like mini refrigerator, ice maker, small AC using this Peltier module. If you are still watching this video, I appreciate your patience and check out my other videos as well. I hope you guys like this video. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Meet you next week with a brand new video. Until then, keep exploring infinity.